Okay. In a world. Well, <laughs> the grip is... <laughs>
you know, we've had moments where it's like, okay, camera gets, you know, like shut off and then five seconds later, you know, somebody farts really, 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 really loudly or something like that. Or that's, that's just one example. Uh, we've had, we've had one thing uh, and I'll, I'll say it's a great moment. Uh, so we had a, a fight scene going on uh -huh. and it was going pretty well. Uh, and then at one point we stopped, I looked at the actor that I was working with and I'm like, wow, that was, I think we did a really good job. Then I look over at John, he looks down, he says, okay, one more for safety. And I looked at him like, yeah. Okay. That, that's that's happened a few times, but it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, you know, you want it, you want to get it good. Yeah, rather you, have an extra shot than yeah. not than be missing the shot you wanted. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate cool. him, but my body didn't. No, it, it, hurts. it hurts. I mean, I hate I hate myself for it. Just so you know, like it, it's like he's been directing me all day long. I hated him like at, at eleven o'clock this morning. Exactly. This is I, a taskmaster. Listen, no one hates me more than me. Okay, like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm, he, I'm stuck here too. Okay? Sage is in heaven out there, out there, behind the camera over there, having somebody to work with. It's great. Um, so yeah, you, know, you guys got to kind of travel around the county here and, and shoot in different locations. Things like yeah. that. What was the most interesting location you guys got to shoot on? Um, oh, I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, I, want, I want to say the. We, we filmed in like a big old warehouse that was up at the port. Okay. That was a pretty interesting location. It was where they make, I think, submarine parts. Submarine parts. Yeah. Um, and uh, we were in there for... So you guys were doing like a mercenary spy flick in a place where they make submarines. Well, no, like, I mean, you don't see submarines really yeah. in there. Yeah, just saying. Uh, uh, I, it, like I said, I think they made submarine parts there. But anyway, it was... That's, a, that's one spot. Um, it was, it was Project like, Town has been kind enough to uh, allow yeah. us to film a few scenes there. Too. Awesome. Yeah, so they've been really out. awesome. Definitely got to give a mm -hmm. shout out to them. Um, and uh, yeah, we've we've been all over. How, how many? How many? How many of y'all are in the, are in this casting crew? Wow, they're. I'm like the person who's not in the film. <laughs> like the one guy, right? Yeah, like I've, like, I've been trying to get him like, in there, but if, it's like if anything, like you'll you'll maybe see a point where I screw up and maybe a tiny bit of my finger gets in front of the lens. That's <laughs> that finger in that one shot. That's John's moment. Yeah, exactly. So in the theaters, we want y'all to rage and cheer. Exactly. Because that finger, that was his contribution to the acting pool. But exactly. to be honest, you know, so much of what you guys do is behind the camera. Directing the other actors, you know, cinematography. Um, what has been, uh, aside from the funding, independent filmmaking is hard to do when you know for funding aside from the funding what's been the most challenging part of putting this film together uh, uh let's say just coordination probably coordinating the time getting people on set uh choreographing the fight scenes because you know you have to have the actors you guys are doing the choreograph uh, choreography or is, do you have somebody doing that for uh, you or with you my friend brendan mack he's been helping out with a lot of the choreography okay it's been me and him for a while uh John is actually helping out with for one scene that uh, I think people are going to be really impressed by. Awesome. Yeah. yeah it's What's the running? What, what, are you, what are you shooting for for running time, guys? Uh, running time. We're trying to at least get ninety minutes and 90 stuff minutes, like that. Yeah. yeah. It's, okay. it's one of those things where we, we, we've got several little bits edited and stuff like that. And we, we know. Okay, this chunk of thing. I mean, this chunk of the film you know, runs so long. This chunk of the film runs so long. Mm. So I, uh, I think we're going to get around ninety minutes, if, if a little longer. Well, what's What's the first step after after you, after post production is over? What's the first step for you guys as festivals? Is it going to be? I, uh, I going to try think to commercially we're going release to be Amazon trying to see about how our how how we'll get into distribution and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and how we'll actually get the film, you know, to people. Um, yeah, we we have a few streaming services looking at us. Yeah, awesome. so we're just weighing out our options right now. And awesome, that is fantastic. And then guys. after that, probably probably uh, you know, film festival circuit and stuff like that. Just go through all those. And very nice. Very, very nice. We're probably uh, going to do a private screening. <laughs> you know, filmmaking of any kind, when we do the show, it's short films, filmmaking of any kind is, is a, a, an education. Every time, every time we turn the cameras on, we learn something new. What's the biggest takeaway from this project for each of you guys? What did, what, what did you bring out of this? What's, what new skills, what new talents, what's going to take you to the next level thanks to this project? Uh, for me, and I hope everybody else kind of takes this, um, that's even possible to do. You know, uh, when we first start off this thing, you know, we thought the well, idea of doing a full well, feature film. I, I mean, I, I remember we, we were just sitting around one day and then somebody said, you know, I, you know, dare, uh, you know, one of us to make a, you know, a feature film. Yeah. And like, 
it, it was one of those moments where I remember that moment, and then it's like, yeah, right, like like that will happen. And then, and then before I know it, we're we're filming it, we're doing this, and uh, you know, we we got way into it and stuff. And we're gonna we're gonna yeah. one day we're gonna sit down, we're gonna talk about sarcasm, John, because. He said, yeah, right, that'll happen. And guess what? Yeah, right, that'll yeah. happen. He wasn't exactly. being sarcastic. We had to teach you a little bit about sarcasm because that didn't work out for you because now you're making a feature film. Yeah. Yep. But, and, you're, and you're halfway through. Yeah, but, like, I mean, I know I've, I've definitely learned a lot. Like, I mean, the reason why we're, you know, even here today yeah. and I'm the what same doing, yeah. stuff. Yeah, I mean, I've learned so much just in the process of making this film. I had to become a better filmmaker to make the film. And Now, we've talked before, John, you've been making films a long time. Yeah. Working on doing everything from boom <laughs> operator to camera operator to editor. Um, we just finished helping out uh, an independent project together. Um, Jabril, how long have you been in interested in making films? Uh, well, I've been acting since I was about nine, uh, but actually getting involved in film. Is acting or acting up? <laughs> Does that depend acting on who up my whole life. Acting up your whole life. Uh, okay. But the filmmaking process, I've been involved maybe like maybe about five years now. Okay. Uh, but mostly I've been doing boom work with. That's John. fantastic. You look at all those young filmmakers out there that want to get started. Mm -hmm. They've got their YouTube channels going. They've got their Vimeo accounts. They're doing all this stuff. What is the one single piece of advice that you would give any one of those guys that are, are getting started right now? Oh, fail a lot and fail often. That's how you learn. Uh, if you're writing a script and you're just going off the first draft, uh, I can tell you right now, don't do it. <laughs> Keep. John, how about you? Um, I mean, it, it's it's kind of similar to that. Just you know, don't be afraid to fail and stuff. If you do fail, I mean, yeah, you know, succeed when you can. Yes. succeed when you can. I think yes. it should be said to that. But yeah, um, you know, yeah, it's it's good to learn from your mistakes and try and roll with those mistakes. Don't let them defeat you and stuff. So, yeah. Absolutely. You know, it's been said that uh, filmmaking is an exercise in problem solving. Yes. Every day, there's a new challenge that faces you. Um, what is that one thing on the set? for each of you that was kind of the, that's the, the moment when you put those problem solving skills to the test. You know, what moment on set were you like, really, are we gonna be able to do this today or not? We can talk about the thing in the warehouse. Okay, okay there we go. <laughs> They're like, it's top secret, might make the gag real, so uh, you never know. Well, there's there's I, a lot I, that's going there's on. There's a lot. <laughs> and, and, and this goes to a lot of credit for John. Um, even though I am the director, he's much as a director as I am for this thing. Um, he, he definitely helped keep that going on that day. Uh, I try to stay focused when I'm getting the character or anything like that, mm -hmm. but when you have different actors coming from different directions asking, hey, when we're doing this, when we're doing that, it kind of takes you out of it a little bit. So I appreciate that he's always been able to. I think, I think there was only one day too that we were I, I think pushed to our limits. It was one of those things where, like, it was like three of us left on set this one day, and like, we were all like, snapping at each other like a little bit upset with each other and stuff like that but like i mean we still came out of it smiling yeah. and stuff we, like we that. shot so two fights well it's that hard day. working you know in, in an environment a creative environment you're collaborating and and filmmaking is a collaborative process you have the actors you have, you, have, you yeah. know you're working the cameras and you're working directing and you're trying to act at the same yeah. time yeah. um yeah, that's the personalities <laughs> you know personality clashes yeah you know you spend that much time together and doing that and personalities clash um so uh, guys, she's gonna hold that card up again. <laughs> We're talking over here. Do you mind? Do you, you don't mind? Okay, fine. All right, we have to wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Thanks Thank for talking you. about Thank the grip. Us. We're looking forward to that film coming out. Absolutely. All right. So, John, come on, let's go. Uh, now it's good. I don't, I, don't, I don't have a. Watch you don't even it. carry the watch, right? Uh, no, like no. no, no, no. I, they're I on that. filmmaker time. <laughs> they're on filmmaker time. Uh, exactly. John's already got his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame picked out. He's just waiting for this film to drop. Exactly. That's exactly, exactly right. Uh, guys, we're going to say thank you to our partners and friends at Summit Unique Magazine, Space Coast Comics, Famous Spaces, oh. buddies, Yvonne Mason, Off the Chain Radio over on Blog Talk Radio, Pound the Grape right here in the Melbourne Square Mall. They have hosted us all day long. We've had a great time hanging with all kinds of creative artists. Josh Bauer at J Bauer Art. That's jbauerart.com. Go on over and check his work out. There's some work on the wall behind us. Check it out. And so, guys, uh, we've been hanging here at Pound the Grape with filmmakers Jabril Johnson. Thank you, sir, very much. And with John Granger, thank you, sir, very thank much. You very thank much. you for all your hard work today, too. Uh, guys, check out The Grip when it comes out. We're going to put links down below so you can find other work that these guys have done all over YouTube and wherever else they are on social media because that's a place I don't even understand. But we're going to try to show you where these guys are. Remember, everybody, subscribe, log on, tune in, and see.
who we're hanging with next. Do it. And cut, everybody.